This is the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. One of the most exciting technologies that we saw at CES 2013 is coming up. Stay tuned. Sponsored in part by GoToMyPC. Use GoToMyPC from Citrix, turning any computer into your office computer. Visit GoToMyPC.com for a free 30-day trial and use the promo code PODCAST. Hey, I'm Andy McCaskey from SDR News, and I am here with the uh, CTO of Lilliputian Systems, uh, Sam Shabitz. Sam is the CTO, and he is going to tell us about the technology behind the Nectar charging system. Yeah. So the Nectar power system, uh, available from Brookstone, gives you two weeks of power for your phones or your general USB devices, 10 full charges of a smartphone, uh, and that's from one pod here. Okay, so if I turn this around a little bit, how does the, the pod detach? It way? does. There's a button right there. If you okay. push that button, the po pod pops off. You've uh, used 10 full charges, you get, put this in a recycling bin, take a new one, pop it in, you're good to go for another two weeks. Ah, okay. So now, this is a fuel cell, an active fuel cell. Correct. So this is a solid oxide fuel cell uh, developed at MIT. I started the company out of MIT. The fuel cell is in the body of the system here, and then this pod has the fuel in it that then powers the device. What sort of current capability does this, does, does this give? So we're limited by the USB 2.0 standard. Uh, we cheat a little bit, but basically the USB 2.0 standard, which is two amps of, uh, sorry, one amp of current under peak conditions, half an amp of current under most conditions. Mm -hmm. um, so what sorts of devices are typically within the, power, within the range of uh, that power capability? So the true USB standard, two and a half watts, half an amp is phones essentially. Uh, you've got cameras, some other devices. If you stretch uh, the 3.0 standard at 5 watts, which we're, or 5 watts, which we're not fully compliant here to, you get to uh, tablets and things of that sort. Yeah. So now tell me about the uh, uh, approval to take this on aircraft. How long were you in that process? Yeah, that was, uh, well, that was a long process. Uh, but we do have approval now for carry-on and use on planes. Okay. So this could just... Uh, uh, in either in check baggage or on carry-on baggage then? Uh, no, not in check baggage. We okay. don't have check baggage approval currently. Uh, still working through the system there. They'd like to get some more experience with it, yeah. but for use on planes. Well, and because it's very uh, uh, compact, very lightweight, what, what, is, what is the weight on the system here? Uh, it's just over a third of a pound. Mm -hmm. Now, what are the vents for here in the back? So the system um, is alive. It, uh, it breathes air, it generates a little bit of heat, and this is a cooling area where we're able to cool it so that you know you don't notice that. So are there any constraints as far as if you just left this in a vehicle, would it keep itself warm? Uh, yeah, so it works. That's a question from northern Indiana or Michigan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it'll keep you warm. Um, you know, it's fully autonomous. You can't put it in a sealed Ziploc bag. It'll turn itself off because it does need air. But other than that, it'll keep itself going. You don't have to worry about it. It'll charge itself up. Whenever you want to, you just plug into the port, plug in your phone, and you're good to go. Okay. We'll be back in just a moment for the all-important demo. You know, we're here in the Crosley exhibit, and if you're enthralled with 1939 technology, this is the car for you. But if you're talking technology in the year 2013, you are going to be dependent on your computer. In fact, you're going to be so dependent on your office computer for apps, for files, for network access, that you're going to feel like you're chained to that computer. There's a solution to that problem that comes to us from Citrix with the remote secure application called GoToMyPC. GoToMyPC enables you to control your office computer from any smartphone or tablet simply by loading the application onto your smartphone. Now what this means is that it were before you were carrying files on a flash drive, but there was always the problem that the file you needed was not going to be on that flash drive. Now you can take your go to my PC application on your smartphone or tablet and have full access to all of the files whenever and wherever you need them. 
So that's one of the main convenience factors. The other thing is that it's very, very easy and quick to install and to use. In fact, some of us here in the Tech Podcast Network have been able to install it in less than five minutes and, and be able to access the uh, client that's already working on their PC. The good news is that you can try it free for 30 days. What you need to do, it's a three-step process. You need to visit gotomypc.com. You need to click on the Try It Free button, and you need to enter the code PODCAST, P-O-D-C-A-S-T. A risk-free proposition, a way that you can have access to the files that you need, to the applications that you need. It's just like sitting in front of your PC. The three-step process, visit gotomypc.com, click on the Try It Free button, and enter the code PODCAST. That will give you a 30-day trial at no cost, and you can see just how great Go To My PC from Citrix is for you. Sam, you were just firing the thing up here, and I have a phone that uh, needs a charge. Absolutely. So it's very simple. Anytime you just plug in USB cord, um, and I believe we've got a, an iPhone there, so the got to get the connector right. Um, Oops. Oh, are we upside down? Yep, there we go. And bam, it's on. Okay, so I know that it's charging because I can see it uh, right here, but how do I know from looking at the unit? So uh, to try to make it obvious, we've got this, what we call the Shazam there, the uh, lightning bolt sh says that it's generating power. And then you've also got the cartridge light there that says, look, you've got plenty of fuel in your cartridge. You don't have to worry about it. How much warning do you get before it goes, uh, goes dead? Uh, you've got a couple charges. It also, even when it's completely dead, will still deliver power to the user. Now, eventually, it will not be able to do that, and you've got to get a new cartridge in there. But you get a full charge or so after it's completely dead. Is the entire body taken up with the fuel cell itself, or is there some part of this a uh, regular battery? Uh, there is a regular battery in there as well. There's a lot of stuff on the inside of this thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. when, uh, when you pre-order and you get one uh, in the summer, yeah, go ahead, take it apart, take a look inside. Voids the warranty, but uh, I'll tell you, as a techie, uh, we're very proud of this thing. Well, I, I think uh, makers would say that if you can't open it, you don't own it, right? Yeah, or something <laughs> like that. Yeah. So, again, available through Brookstone. Um, Pre-order now. When will they actually be shipping? So pre-order this week only, uh, brookstone.com slash nectar, and they're going to ship in the summer. Excellent, excellent. So there you have it, a way to power your device for two weeks. And, and what is the cost of the cartridge? So the system is $299, and the pods are $999 each. Uh, if you order this week, you get an extra pod. Excellent. Okay, so there you have it. Where can people go for more information? So nectarpower.com. Uh, we'll give you all the information you need, a little bit more technical detail too, and links to either order it, or if you want to be put on a, an information list, we can do that as well. Excellent. Thanks very much, Sam. Uh, this is a, a really, really cool device. It was absolutely mobbed at CES uh, Unveiled, and we're so glad we could come back and have a chance to examine it a little more closely. This is, this is Andy McCaskey for the Tech Podcast Network. This is the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here.